Good afternoon everybody, welcome to Trick Tuesday. Um, for those of you who are just joining us today, my name is Emma, I'm one of the coaches at Sydney Hills Gymnastics. Um, welcome back to anyone who is joining us for another week. Um, so today we've got something a little bit different. We will be doing a teddy bear headstand today. That is our trick for today. Um, we've been all, you know, all of us coaches here trying to think of what we can do at home that is safe, that is fun, that is something a little bit interesting, hopefully to get us all up and moving. So I hope that everyone is coping with the lockdown and homeschooling and everything else. Um, obviously, uh, I think this is going a little bit longer than any of us thought. So we're just trying to make it fun at home. So today, like I said, we will be doing a um, teddy bear headstand. But before we do that, like always, we do have to warm up our bodies first. We never want to jump straight into doing any sort of gymnastic skill without stretching and doing a little bit of a warm up to make sure that our bodies are ready for the work. So we're going to start with a quick stretch. Then we'll do a little bit of running on the spot, some star jumps and things like that. And then we will get straight into it. Now, today we are in my study because I needed a wall. For this um, skill that we're going to be learning, I would recommend having something under your head, um, especially if you are on something like me with wooden floor or if you've got tiles, you want to make sure that you're staying safe and we do need a nice clear environment as well. I'm currently sitting on a yoga mat, just something nice and thick and squishy. You can pop a pillow under your head, a beach towel or a bath towel, something like that. Um, so make sure you've got something available that is going to protect your head because we will be balancing on the top here and you just want to make sure you don't give yourself a headache. Um, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to shuffle back a bit and we will do a little bit of a stretch to begin with. So let me scoot over here and we're going to start with a butterfly stretch. So pumping your toes together, making sure that your five toes on each foot are touching the, their friend. We're going to start by bopping our knees up and down. That's it. Just trying to warm up those hips a little bit as well. Now we're going to reach forwards. We're going to try and take our chest down to our toes. So pushing forwards, you want to make sure you keep your chin up. We're not going to hunch. We're lifting up nice and tall and pressing forwards. Make sure that your toes stay touching. And let's hold that here for one, two, three, four, five. Back up again and bouncing those knees. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall. We don't want to be slouched down. Sitting up nice and straight. Now this time you're going to hold on to your ankles, you're going to take your chicken wing elbows and you're going to pop them on your knees and we're going to try and close the gap under our knees to the floor. So just pressing down using your body weight, still keeping that chin up nice and high and pressing down. And we're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good, let's bounce those knees one more time. Now this time we are going to hunch over. You're gonna try and take your nose down to your toes. So you obviously will have to bend your back, keeping your 10 toes touching and down you go. And holding here for one, two, we're gonna to get to 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, nice, lifting up and we're gonna go into a pike stretch. So stretching your legs out straight, make sure your toes are touching. We don't want our feet rolling out. Sitting up nice and tall on your sit bones, reaching those arms up. Now you're gonna flex your toes and reach down. And try and keep those knees really pressed into the floor. You don't wanna be buckling your knees down. If you can't quite reach your toes, reaching as far as you can, but don't drop down. And holding here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, give those legs a bit of a shake. And we're gonna do that one more time. Reaching up really tall, up to the roof, flexing those toes, and over we go. Holding on to those feet again, or as far as you can. And holding here for one, two, three, four, five, six. Reach a little bit further this time. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And give those legs a shake. Now I'm going to focus our stretch today on our upper body more so because that's the bit that's going to be doing the majority of the work. For our teddy bear headstands, we're just lifting our legs. So we're going to cross our legs, sitting up nice and tall. You're going to hold onto your knees and you're going to press your belly button nice and far forwards. I'll turn sideways so you can see. So pressing forwards, three, two, one, and then you're going to tuck under and we're concaving, pushing backwards. Keep holding onto your knees and three, two, one. Now this is a little bit of a quiz. If I was on my hands and knees doing this, do you know what this is called? There's a very specific name for this one. 
I'm gonna do another of each stretch and then I'll tell you at the end. So let's see if you know. So pushing forwards, three, two, one, and pushing back, three, two, one. Now, if I was on my hands and knees, that would be a happy cat and a sad cat. I hope you knew that. Now, while we are sitting with our legs crossed, we're gonna take one hand and we're gonna put it on the opposite knee, so we're crossing ourselves. Then we're gonna take the other hand, put it behind us, and we're gonna twist and look back behind us. And holding here for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna cross to the other side, looking behind you and holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna move on to our shoulders. So we're gonna start just by rolling our shoulders up and back. So you wanna try and get them right up to your ears and pushing all the way backwards, keeping your hands wherever is comfortable. And then we're gonna go forward. So up to your ears and over to the front. Nice big circles. Now we're gonna lift them up to our ears, hold for three, two, one, and down. Up to our ears, three, two, one, and down. One more time, up to our ears, three, two, one, and down. Now you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna put them flat on your side. So if I pop my knee out of the way, you can see my hand is nice and flat on the floor, a bit like a penguin. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tip our head over to one of our shoulders. Try and close the gap between our ears and our shoulder. Make sure you don't move your hands though. And over to the other side, stretching out our neck here. Make sure you're not lifting your shoulders up, keep them pressed on the floor, keep your hands down. Now we're gonna look down towards our ankles, keeping your hands flat. And this time you're gonna think about lifting your chin up to the roof. So we're not leaning backwards, we're just stretching out the front of our neck. And we do that by lifting our chin to the roof. So keeping your hands flat on the floor and lifting your chin up. You to draw a circle with your nose. So a nice big circle all the way around one direction. And when you get back to the start, go the other way. Nice. Back to the middle, we're going to look to the right side as far as you can without moving your shoulders or your body. And then over to the left. Same thing, we're just moving our heads here. Nothing else should move. You should imagine you're made of stone. From the neck down, you are a statue. So let's do the other side again, back to the right. And to the left. Good job. Now we should probably warm up our wrists as well because we will be using them. So let's clasp our fingers together, interlace, and we're going to do some circles. So just round and round and round and round and round. Now we're going to do the wave up and down. And let's go the other way, up and down. Now you're going to push your hands to your chest, flip them and push forwards. Into your chest and forwards. In, forwards. Let's do two more. In, forwards in, forwards. Now we're going to just circle our wrists and the other way. Make sure it's always important to go both ways and I want you to flex your hands and then push them down, push your fingers down. Flex and down. One more, flex and down. Good job. Let's warm up our elbows. We're going to do some circles and other way and just a bit of a shake. All right, nice job. Now we're gonna hop up and we're gonna do a little bit to get our heart rate up. So we're gonna start by running on the spot. So I am going to stand up here. Now, if you are watching on Facebook, you may not be able to see all of me because of the way the camera is. So you'll just see my legs, but that's all right because that's all you need to see. We're gonna start by running on the spot. Nice and small toes, but fast. Faster, faster, faster. Whoop, that was one of my pictures. Let me pop that on my desk. All right, let's keep running. Go, 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 stop. One more time. Go, 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 stop. All right, good job. Let's do some star jumps. So you're gonna jump into a big star, hands and feet out and in. Out and in. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Nice, now that was very, very quick, but that's all we need just to get our heart rate up and moving. So let me tell you a little bit our about our headstand for today. So it's really important when we're doing our headstands, like I said, that we've got something nice and soft underneath us because you don't want to give yourself a bruise. Whew. So can everyone see where my hair is? 
that is where you're going to be balancing just above your hairline you never want to be smack on top of your head because that can lead to some neck pain and we don't want to hurt ourselves so we always want to be balancing on the front of our heads here I'm doing it against a wall today, which means I don't have any risk of toppling over. You can do this in the middle of the room as well, but it's always good to start up against a wall so you've got somewhere to go. So what we wanna do is we wanna make a triangle. So start by putting your hands flat in front of you. I'm just gonna grab a quick drink. Lots of talking today. We're gonna to make a triangle. So your head is the point and then your hands are underneath. Now you always wanna make sure that you've got nice wide hands. We don't ever wanna have little hands because the wider our hands are, the easier it is for us to balance. So you're gonna have nice wide hands and you're gonna have your elbows up because that is where we're going to balance our knees. So let's start by practicing what you're gonna do. So facing the wall, starting on your knees, you're gonna put your hands flat on the floor where you think they need to go, not too far away because you still need to be able to get your legs on them, but also not too close, because you, you don't want to have your knees too close to the wall. From here, you're gonna take your head, remembering it's just above where our hair is, and we're gonna put that on the floor. So just stay here on your knees, hands on the floor, and see if you feel comfortable. You should have your hands out, nice and wide, so that you're able to balance your knees on them. So have, that, have a go there, find a comfortable position where you like to have your head. Remembering it's not smack on top, it's just behind where our hair starts. Once we're there, we're gonna pop up onto our toes with straight legs and we're gonna try and make this shape with our bodies. So this will be our head and our hands and this long part here will be our toes. You wanna make sure that you do start with straight legs because we're gonna walk our feet in and lift our bottom up into the air. So. Popping my hands flat on the floor, remembering nice big star hands, no closed fingers. Head down on the floor, you're going to stretch your legs out and you're going to walk your toes forwards. Lifting your bottom up and trying to make your back straight. Now if you're doing this against a wall, it gives you a definite hand because you can walk your back up to the wall. So we're going to start that first and then we're going to come back down and you always want to come back onto your knees and we tuck down. So I'm going to come down, I won't talk while I'm upside down. I'll talk once I hop down. Hands down, head down, and let's practice straightening our legs and walking our toes in as far as we can, lifting our bottoms up to the ceiling. All right, how did everybody go? Always wanna make sure that you walk your toes up and you walk your toes down. You never want to just drop straight down. You always want to make sure that you are being very, very careful and very, very safe. Let's practice that one more time. Making sure if you are going up against a wall, you try and get your whole back on the wall before you come down. Try and hold it there for two or three seconds and then come back down. Hands down, head down and off we go. All right, hopefully that's feeling a bit more comfortable now and you found that you're in the right spot. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one foot and we're gonna balance that knee on our elbow. Then we're gonna pick up the other foot and balance it on the other elbow. So you'll end up like this, with your knees on your elbows on each side. So let's give that a go, remembering that you don't pick your feet off the floor until you're all the way up straight with your back. So you wanna walk your toes in as far as you can first before you start walking in. Hands down, head down, and off we go. Don't forget your triangle shape with your head and your hands. Now, when you are upside down, you do want to make sure that you're pressing your hands into the floor and you're using them to help you balance. It is a little bit wobbly to begin with, so you do want to make sure that you've got nice big triangle between your head 
and your hands so you've got somewhere to balance. Let's try again. We're going to go up into our teddy bear and this time we're going to try and hold it for a little bit longer than you did last time. I find it personally easier as well if I point my toes once I've lifted them off the floor. So a couple of quick tips. The higher your bottom is, the easier it is. And the stronger you're using your muscles, the more you will be balanced. That's why I say pointing my toes. It's the same as a handstand. It uses your leg muscles and really locks you in nice and tight. All right, hands down. Let's give it a go. Make sure you've got your nice big triangle, big spread fingers, popping up onto your toes and walking your feet in all the way as high as you can. Make sure you always tuck back into your child's pose shape afterwards, stretching out and giving yourself a quick break before you sit back up. Because we are balancing on our heads, sometimes it can give us a little bit of a headache, so it's always important to stop and give yourself a moment. Do have a drink if you have one close by. Now we're gonna take three big deep breaths in, give our neck a bit of a break, and then we're gonna hop up and have another turn. So breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And one more time, breathe in and out. Now we're gonna draw that circle with our nose again, starting at one point and all the way around. And to the other side. Now, if you do, do start to feel any pain at all while you are upside down in your teddy bear stand, it's really important that you come down straight away. The last thing that we want is for you to hurt your neck, your shoulders, or any of your arms or the rest of your body. So it's always important to come straight down if you do feel anything. Make sure, like I said, keeping those arms nice and wide so you do have a really good support and good balance somewhere to keep you centered. If you find that you're getting really wobbly and your legs aren't staying up or you're doing funny things with your head, you may need to move your hands a little bit down. Make sure that you've got that triangle shape. If your hands are too close or too wide, it may not be helping. So let's try again and let's see if we can hold it for a little bit longer this time. Really remember to push your bottom up in the air. Nice straight legs to start with. Here we go. So hands down, head down, bottom up and walking your toes in. Remember to point your toes and squeeze. All right. Thanks so much for joining us for today's Trick Tuesday. It's a little bit shorter than normal, but it's just something a little bit fun. Next week, we'll pro be progressing our teddy bear stands through to full headstands. So if you'd like to join us next week, make sure that you've got a yoga mat, a wall and some comfy clothing because we'll be progressing those a little bit further on. Make sure you do um, be careful with your neck if you are practicing this at home. If you don't have a wall, you can always do this against the couch. And if you do find that doing it against the couch, your bed a wall or something is becoming quite easy and you feel quite confident, you can then move it into the middle of the room. Again, making sure you've got something soft under your head. We'll do a quick stretch to cool down and then we will go from there. So sitting back in your butterfly position and bouncing your toes. Nice and gentle. Now this time you're gonna put your hands on the floor and you're going to walk forwards. Trying to get your elbows on the floor. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. And walking your hands back in. We're going to go into our pike stretch, but this time we're going to do our neck first. So pop your hands on your legs, make sure you're pressing your knees into the ground, sitting up tall, and we're just going to look to the right side first. 
and to the front and to the left and to the front. Now you're going to take your hand, put it over your head and gently turn your head to the side, stretching out the side of your neck. And to the other side, don't forget to keep your knees straight. Now this time you're going to lace your fingers together, put them behind your head and you're just going to look towards your legs, using your hands like a weight. Now you can put your hands on the floor, sitting up tall and lifting your chin up to the roof. Back to the front. You're going to walk your hands down the side of your legs into our pike and holding here for five, four, three, two, one and walking those hands up. Now if you are going to keep practicing this during the week as well, do just be careful because obviously our neck, our neck is very delicate and you don't want to give yourself a headache or sore muscles. So do this two or three times, have a bit of a rest and then come back to it again if you do want to keep practicing. It's really important that we rest our bodies in between because you do put a lot of pressure on all of these muscles and they're not ones that we use very often. I hope everybody is staying safe and everyone is having fun. We will be doing Fitness Friday again this week, so come and join us um, for that as well. But otherwise, stay safe, have fun, keep moving, and we'll see you later. Bye.